So I'm a little hungover this morning. I'm hungover because this uh, midterm election cycle, the voting that was happening yesterday, Measure 92 here in Oregon to label genetically modified foods, it was just neck and neck. At some points it seemed like it was going to pass. Um, and I kind of figured, well, if it does pass, I'm going to want to drink. And if it doesn't pass, I'm going to want to drink to celebrate. So I just kind of got ahead of it and just hit the bar and had a great time. A little hungover today. But what makes this hangover so completely worth it is that this morning I, I woke up and I checked uh, OregonLive.com and it turns out that GMO labeling has been defeated. Which is fantastic because this is a win for not only science, which has proven that GMOs are perfectly fine, but also rational uh, spending restrictions and, and proper uh, legislative process. Uh, this is a, a huge big deal and I just I couldn't I couldn't be happier about it and I want to say a very special thank you uh, to the Oregon Right to Know campaign to all the activists in such groups like the Occupy uh, groups here in Oregon or any of the the widespread different websites and Tumblr groups and blah 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 that have all been pushing their special brand of chemophobic fear-mongering bullshit. A big thank you mwah, to Michael Hansen and to Jeffrey Smith for coming to my state and inundating people with bad science and fucked up ideas and wasting everybody's time and of course getting paid in the process. I want to say an absolute special fuck you to Mercola and to Dr. Bronner's for getting their out-of-state big corporate dicks in this fight and trying to fuck with the people of Oregon. I really, really appreciate it. And for all of you guys, I have this. <laughs> no, dude, no fucking way. <laughs> But here's the thing, this isn't all just like sweet candy and roses and fairy farts of just, yay, we defeated it, that's awesome. I, I, I feel great that it got defeated, but I feel great that it got defeated because it was a bad bill. And we have to, instead of just simply backpat ourselves, I just really am not backpatting myself about it being defeated at all, I'm just saying a big fuck you to pseudoscience dickheads. Um, I don't see this necessarily as a big victory. I see this as a stepping stone from where to go forward. See, it was only defeated by less than a percent. Less than a percent. It was so fucking close. So what this means is that there is still in our consciousness a desire to have some sort of labeling. People think it makes sense. And I would pretty much guarantee you a lot of people, including me, who voted against this measure are not necessarily opposed to labeling, but it needs to be unilateral and fair. It needs to be something that is not specifically favoring one side of a profit-driven corporate war over agriculture. It needs to make it needs to make sense. It needs to be logical. So, I uh, am inviting, and hopefully they will take me up on it. Uh, anyone who would like to discuss. Uh, maybe parameters for sensible labeling and maybe with enough work and everybody trying to come together and find a way to make it work instead of just trying to sell people fear we can find a compromise that will just totally work out so yeah I guess it's time to get busy guys uh, yeah no 192 fuck yeah woo hey this is Jeff's kid if you like his videos don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more videos like it and share with your friends.